at the Oxbow Eco Center in the north part of St. Lucie County in Port St. Lucie. We're almost in Fort Pierce. Um, it's an environmental learning center and they have some trails and some cool things inside. So let's go check it out. So Google says they open at 12. It's 12.07 and they're still closed. So we're gonna go walk around the outside here first and hopefully by then the inside will be open. So I walked around outside a little bit. There's a bunch of trails. I was able to get inside and get a map. And she also gave me a St. Lucie County guided hiking tour map, which I personally am interested in. So I'm gonna go online and check some of those out. Maybe book a couple. Um, it's super cool. They have live animals and fake ones for demonstration. They do summer camps here. Um, they have boardwalks and the only reason I didn't go farther down a trail, number one, it looks like it's going to storm and number two, I do not like personally walking down a trail by myself for the first time. Maybe if I did it first time with somebody, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable the second time. Um, number one, because of the wildlife here, I hate snakes <laughs> and, and there's hogs and alligators and it's right near the river, so there's fox, raccoon. I mean, fox and raccoon don't really scare me. It's more so the alligators and the snakes. But anyways, um, I had a fun first visit. I'm excited to be looking at more information on the pamphlets that she gave me. And now let's talk about the real estate. So right now, within a three mile radius of the Oxbow Eco Center, there are 122 active listings and they range from 65,000 to 1.3 million. Um, lots of properties in the three and four hundreds. It's median for St. Lucie County. It's in the northern part of St. Lucie County, almost in Fort Pierce. And the Fort Pierce Central High School is about a mile away. Southern Oaks Middle School is about a half a mile away. And you're probably looking at about 30 minutes or so from the beach, depending on the time of the year with the traffic. During season, there's a lot more traffic. It's going to take you an extra 10 to 15 minutes to get to the beach. Off season, which is summertime, when you really only have the morning to go to the beach, it's going to take you about 25, 30 minutes to get there. And the closest beach would be Jensen Beach and... All along A1A up to Fort Pierce, there are about every quarter mile, there are different beaches. There's a dog beach. Um, Jensen Beach also has a cafe that has a really good breakfast. I go there sometimes to watch the sunrise and get myself a coffee and some pancakes. I have a few coming soon. Also, one that I mentioned earlier is Jensen Beach. I will be doing that one so you guys will be able to see the cafe and the drive there. It's really pretty, especially along Indian River Drive. Um, it's just beautiful. There's beautiful houses over there, which some are for sale as well. And they're more affordable than you think for being on the water on the coast of Florida. And then we will be doing the Martin County House of Refuge, which is right on the beach. There's some interesting um, history there. One of them is real estate related, obviously. And then the third one, I'm going to be doing the Jonathan Dickinson State Park. So those are the next three videos coming up. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon.